I have been made. This is one of my older games. I made this maybe maybe a few months after I bought Tabletop Simulator. I played lots of the Payday, and this is basically <laughs> the that game Payday but on the board game form. Uh, I didn't call it actually Payday uh, because someone already put the mod for some reason uh, of the, with the same game, but it was kind of different. Uh, it, there was some kind of miniatures and like a RPG use the d20 dice and what what I don't know basically but this game is called Bank Haste and uh, I used the uh, artwork from the payday you can probably recognize the map of the bank now let me quickly go through the components of the game so as you can see there is a main board and uh, there are some placeholder with some decks uh, some event decks, some uh, police force decks, uh, special event decks of cards. There's a place where you put the uh, police force when the alarm is sounded in the in the in the bank. There is a threat scale. So as as the threat rises, more uh, harder and harder uh, police force is coming to to get you. Uh, there is a main entrance with your character tokens you can see and if you flip them <laughs> on the other side is actually these little guys with the masks just like in the in the game and uh, these are the character cards that you can you can choose this is a this is a co-op game uh, for well it's best if it's played with the four players but it can be played with two players or three you know. if you play solitary you would actually probably need to use either two or three uh, of the characters and there is a turn order like this little timer track and uh, together with the game there is a little explanation how the turn goes and actually there are here four uh, missions or scenarios now I made only four actually it needs to be eight of them but uh, Basically, you set up the game based on the scenario and then just uh, go through it, trying to get uh, get money and uh, before the police comes and you know arrest you all. So this is a dice rolling action taking game. So each player has his little pool of dices. Each player has the three dices, and on the each dice side there is a actually action he can do. The, if, if he rolled those action and uh, here are the bags with some various tokens which, that we use to you know during the game set setup there are like uh, civilian tokens you know people from the bank that happens to be in the bank in the time when you make the haste uh, there is a, actually if you remember a drill you use to break the saves there are some additional saves you can get course there's tokens for the money cameras police officers uh, computers that you can hack uh, to you know remove the security and uh, actually disable cameras and there are some various tokens that can players can get during the game like these uh, stun tokens wound tokens and tech tokens teach tokens that we use to track how how much uh, time you need to break with your little drill into the safe now th when that said let's just go over it and set up actually the first scenario I'm not gonna play it in this video I'm just gonna set up the game and then we're gonna go through the, to the playthrough and I'm gonna speak some more so basically you take the the scenario card and on it as you can see it's not the best quality but it's readable so haste number one post office job and here is like a map and uh, what you need to place on the on, on, on it so as you can see in the bank safe I need to place uh, three tokens with the money in the main lobby there's uh, two civilians and uh, and the camera in the room below that is one civilian and the camera and in the entrance there is one police officer and one civilian so it's post office is, there is no much security on it so it's kind of easiest scenario in the game as you can see on the on the right there is a little like image of your uh, 
vehicle that will come in in three minutes so that's basically your uh, timer so you need to do to, so you need to break into the safe get the money and get out of the bank in three minutes because vehicle when it comes it, it's gonna go either you finish the job or not so you basically have to you're kind of limited to, to this time after that uh, whoever's uh, you know left behind he's gonna be arrested and also there are some uh, things you need to do like um, as you can see on one two and three it says uh, play one event card from the uh, before the game starts so we're gonna have a special event so something you, you didn't plan with and there's uh, it says only entrance is the main entrance uh, as you can see there is a back alley and window that are closed off so this is a small map and the threat level is on the one and there is a special rule it says glass walls it says if there is no adrenaline action placed on one starting position the main entrance when you do a hostile action in the entrance roll a skull die for alarm so basically imagine that in the entrance there's like glass walls and if you do some hostile action inside people from the outside gonna see and then you know someone's gonna call the police and the alarm's gonna get sound so you need to watch out what you're doing in the entrance uh, because in this game uh, same as in, in payday game you can actually walk inside the bank and these these rooms are actually spaces as you can see they are connected so this is this is like one room one space so if i have a two movements i can walk to from entrance to here or from entrance here but if I do any hostile action and putting your mask and doing your know, actions, you know, from the dice is actually considered as a hostile action. So the moment I do that, uh, I would need to roll these dice. And if I get a uh, skull symbol, the the alarm is gonna, you know, get sound off and police force gonna come and come as you as you can, you know, depending what you do if if you manage to kill the first. Uh, a police force that comes to the bank then you know threat rises and then you have more threatening police force you know more harder opponents to deal with uh, so yeah let's uh, let's just set up the game so as it, it says I need I have a three money bags in the safe uh, I have a uh, two civilians in the main lobby uh, one camera there uh, one civilian here in the, in the room below, also one camera there. And I have a police officer and one civilian in the main entrance. Alright. So, as you can see, there are female and, and male NPCs. Now, what I forgot to mention, you see these good and bad event cards, they're gonna be activated later in the game, after the alarm starts. But uh, there is one special event you actually have to, this card says you, you have to do it immediately after you, you know, before you start the game. So before I restart the game, we're going to play one special event. And there is actually hostage zone, because in this game you can get hostages to trade for your comrades that got, like, arrested, you know, during the fight with the, with the police. So I set up everything. This is the first scenario, let's place it here. Also, I need to place my little vehicle on three minutes. That's here, as you can see, three minutes. So this is how many turns I have to do my job. Uh, 13 tur turns, it seems. And we use this little time token, you know, to place it one step in forward every turn. Now, game is quite simple you, you take your character so let's say for this game I'm gonna take a mastermind and uh, enforcer and let's say uh, a technician also I'm gonna play three players game so each player will take his little card and take his dices each player has the three dices that he can use in his turn and let's uh, remove this here gonna need school dice probably and uh, then each turn you just roll your dices and do your actions each player you know do do it and uh, game progress so yeah I'm, I kind of set up everything I'm just gonna 
take this special event because I'm really interested in what it is. I, I need to shuffle all these decks before I start playing the game. So let's say, see which, what kind of special events we have. So it says, new system. What now? Every security camera can be disabled only by force. So using a shoot action. Security station requires 5 tech tokens on it instead of regular 4. Well, we don't have a security station. As you can see, uh, this game doesn't have a security station. This, the, that's the token with this uh, little computer here. We don't have it, but still, this is uh, this makes the thing difficult because now the cameras that we have can be disabled only using a shoot action. And when you use a shoot action, you're gonna make uh, people notice. You know, <laughs> you can't just. Uh, do a shooting action is considered a hostile action so it's gonna attract this police officer and if it's done in the entrance I would actually need to roll for the alarm and so on and so on so this is gonna make a thing difficult I'm gonna place it here because uh, in some scenarios you can do this uh, you know you can secretly disable some cameras and deal with people so the, so the, the police officer doesn't notice you uh, this kind of gonna make things for us that we need to go like in force. We we will have to just uh, position ourselves in the bank and uh, you know start uh, taking hostages, yelling on people and, and all that stuff. So the the, the secretive approach is kind of not possible right now because of this card. All right, well, game setup. And uh, in the next video, we're gonna go to the turn. You you'll see how this everything how everything works, and I'm gonna explain what you have on these cards, and how you can you do how how you can do actions, and what happens when the alarm sounds, and how the police is coming into the bank, and, and so on and so on. So thank you for watching. Expect the next video pretty soon.